What is happening, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Project. Coming to you live, bringing on something going nine game NBA slate for tomorrow. What is tomorrow? It's third Friday. So before we can tell you for me, definitely subscribe. I'm going to night shift on Monday, so I'm excited about that. Um, at my full time work. Um, so if you're ready for that, I'm excited about it. But we have a nine games. Uh, before we can hit like for me, definitely subscribe. Um, PJ is looking good so far. Um, fully like keep Keith Mitchell kind of pulls through, and then NBA tonight was interesting. But we'll break this late down with Knicks at Washington on the Knicks side. Jules Randall should be in a feast matchup. I don't mind him at 10 3 as a spin up. He's going to be contrarian. Uh, Jalen Brunson, RJ Barrett are both healthy, kind of off of them, kind of awful quickly at 6 1 at that price tag with everybody healthy, also. It's mainly just Julius Randall for me. Um, on the Washington side, Porzingis is questionable. We're going to watch the news on him. So is Gafford. Um, if they're both out, I'm going to like Kuzma. Obviously, no Brad Beal. So, of course, Kispert should see a little bit more run. Monty Morris is questionable. That's kind of big news also. Might get some DeLon Wright at 3-4. Um, we just need to keep an eye on the injuries. Atlanta, Indian on Atlanta side. No Clint Capello. So, Kongu at 5-6 is just meh. Trey Young and Dante Murray. I'm not sure they go to Dante Murray at 8-8 other than Trey Young. John Collins gets a little bit slight boost with no Capella at 6-8. Um, Bog at 6,000 is kind of there for me. On the Indiana side, Ty, Tyrese Albert's out, and then Miles Turner is questionable. So Buddy Hill looks good at 6-5. And then Matherin looks good at 4-8. Nam Harlow looks good at 4-3. McConnell looks good at 4-1. I like a lot of this Indiana team in a high-paced matchup. So that's definitely a team I'm going to be focusing on. The Pelicans and Detroit, no Brent Ingham knows that Ion and Herbert Jones is questionable. So Jim McComb, 9-4 in a fast-paced matchup also that Detroit business that play no defense. I'll get to him at 9-4. Uh, Jovell, I, I just have trouble going to Jovell with the minutes and production. Uh, Najee Marshall, kind of a similar story at 5-8. Um, I, I like Trey Murphy at 5,000. And then Detroit, nothing really stands out to me. If there's no Jalen Dern, um, if there's no Isaiah Stewart, I mean, I'm going to get to some New Orleans a lot at 3-8, I think. I, I like the spot for him. Uh, but Bog, 6-4, no thank you. No Killian Hayes at 5-9. I'm not getting to Jalen Ivey. And then Golden State and uh, San Antonio, a uh, Golden State side. Steph Curry is back at 10 4. Um, he only he played 31 minutes. It's he's just there for me. I'm not really getting to him. He's kind of the spin up. I'm just shrugging my shoulders on and just kind of fading. Uh, Jordan Poole at that price tag. I'm not getting to him. I'm not getting to Clay Thompson at 7 7 either. I'm not getting to Andrew Wiggins, really. I'm not getting to a lot of this Golden State team. On the San Antonio side, kind of a similar story. This is kind of a game I'm just staying away from. Um, I'm not really liking a lot of pieces. On the OKC and Chicago game, SGA 10 2, a little bit expensive in my opinion. Josh Giddy, 7,000. Not really getting to him. I'm not getting to a lot of this Thunder team. I know it's Chicago and they don't play defense. I'm just not trusting this oh, OKC team. And on the Chicago side, if there's no DeRozan and there's, and there's no Zach Levine, I'm going to get to a lot of Vucevic. I'm going to get a lot of IO. I'm going to get a lot of Kobe White and Caruso. Um, Vucevic looks good at 8 5, but he sold last game. So get that in mind. But it is a good matchup for Chicago. Phoenix and Minnesota, this is the Phoenix team, it is all over the place. It might, it might just be Washington and Mikel Bridges. Um, Sarge is good at 4-4. Four, four. Torrey Gray looks good at 4-6. I'm going to get to Damian Lee at 4-2. I'm going to get to Joshua Koji at 4-1. I like all of this Phoenix team, obviously. And the Minnesota side is a run back. You can go to Rudy Gobert at 7-4. You can go to D'Lo at 7-2, especially if there's no Anthony Edwards. So we just need to watch the status of that game. Orlando and Utah on the Orlando side. Banchero 8-3. I'm not getting to a lot of this Orlando team. It's just Orlando. It's plain and simple. On the Utah side, kind of a similar story. I know this is a good team. I'm not paying 98 for Lori Marketing. I'm not really getting to Jordan Clarkson. I mean, there's no Kelly O, so Walker Kessel is good at 5,000, but that's about it for me. And then Denver, LA, Clippers on the Denver side, and Jokic is a big news. He's is questionable. So if he's out in Jamal Murray, I'm going to get to a lot of Aaron Gordon. I'm going to get to a lot of Bones Highland. I'm going to get to a lot of uh, Michael Porter Jr. at 5 2. Um, on the LA side, Sorry. Um, Kawhi Leonard looks good at 9-9? Nine. Nine? Wait, hold on. Wait. I know I have my contacts out, but is that true, 9-9? Nine, nine? That price tag jumped up. It went from 8-1, eight, 8-2 eight, to 8-7, eight, eight, and 9-9. Nine, nine. Wow. Um, I'm not paying 9-9 nine, nine for Kawhi Leonard. Um, Norm Powell, 5-3. Not really getting to him. Not really getting to much of the Clippers team. Wow. On the Houston side in the Sacramento game, 
KPJ, he left this game. I'd say he's already ruled out for this game. So Jalen Green looks good at 7-6. I'm going to get to a little bit of sinking at 6-9. AJ Martin looks good at 3-8. He's going to see a boost of minutes also. And on the King side, Darren Fox looks good at 9,000. Spona should have a feast in this matchup. But, yeah, I'm still kind of – that's crazy, 9-9 nine, nine for Kawhi Leonard. Um, but that wraps the safe process, though. Thank you for tuning in. It was a great safe rest of the night. Have a good one, everybody.